Hello artists! Today we are going to be making a picture that looks like pine trees. We're going to explore with texture. We're going to explore with paint using cardboard to create some lines. And then we're going to explore it with actual pine needles to make some other fun marks that might look like rain or snow. All right, so here's how we're going to get started. We are going to use a large piece of white drawing paper and a naked crayon, an unwrapped crayon. You can pick whatever color you like. I prefer the darker colors, the browns, the purples, the blues, the greens, the darker colors. So the first step for us is to lay in some texture with that naked crayon to create our tree trunks. So we're gonna use the crayon going from the top of our paper down to the bottom of our paper, pushing with the crayon, overlapping the line. Remember when we do this artists, we want the crayon on the side like this the side. We're not using the tip coloring. We're putting it flat and we're pushing it and we're pushing it this way. So hold the paper with your hand that you don't write with and then pull and push that crayon down. You may need to even push it a little harder. The harder you push, the more texture you'll get, the darker the color will be. So that's our first step in this process. I want to put maybe three tree trunks across my paper. Okay, your turn to do that, artist. Okay, once you have your tree trunks going from the edge of your paper all the way down to the other edge of your paper, and it looks like you have good tree trunks, now you're going to take your crayon and we're going to put some uh, branches in. So again, I'm gonna use the side of the crayon and I'm just gonna draw, make some lines that look like they might be branches coming off my tree. So now I've put some different lines going more horizontally across my paper and once I have those lines in now I can use the art path and put my crayon away oh don't forget your name and teacher code on the back okay once you're done with your trunks and you've put your brown crayon away and your name is on the back of your paper join me back up at the rug now, the next step is we're going to use a piece of cardboard and some green paint, and we're going to make the needles for our pine tree. Hey, did you guys know that a ponderosa tree, the needles come in bunches of three? So that's what we're going to do is we're making ponderosa trees. We're going to put our cardboard, see how I just dip the edge of the cardboard into the paint? So I have paint along the edge. And what I want to do now is place it down. It's kind of like printing. Remember I told you we're learning about printmaking? And I'm pushing, I'm just pushing my cardboard down. But as I do that, I want one end to always touch. So it looks like my pine needles are in bunches of three, like they would be on the Ponderosa pine tree. Now I'm going to dip my cardboard again and do the same thing. So now I'm gonna connect them here. So I wanna line up this edge, and then again, line up from this edge and push. So see how I have them in bunches of three? And I'm going to keep working this way to fill my paper, I could make my pine needles go in all directions. I just want to make sure I'm connecting one end and I'm doing bunches of three. 
All right. Once your paper is filled with those pine needles in bunches of three, then you may throw your cardboard piece away and if all your partners at your table are done painting, you may put the paint back over at the supply area and join me back on the rug. Now the last thing we're going to do, artists, is we're going to add some water droplets. And we're actually going to paint with the needles from the pine tree. We're gonna use them as a paintbrush. We're going to use now watercolor paint. So how we're going to work with this is we're gonna take the needles and we're going to have to share with our elbow mates because I don't have enough for everyone. So you and your elbow partner will be sharing. You're going to take these, dip it into the paint, and I like to hold it up a little bit closer to the top and then just gently flick with my one finger, just very gently. If I flick it like this and move it with my wrist, I'm gonna get it everywhere. But if I hold it steady with my hand and just tap it with my finger, see how I'm getting the blue spots on there? This will ensure that I don't get blue paint all over my neighbor or on myself. If I use my whole wrist and I flick it everywhere, it's going to go everywhere. But this will help to keep it more controlled. So just gently tap it and dip and gently tap. And you don't need a, a whole lot of droplets on there, just enough to make it look like maybe it's raining or snowing. And then to finish, what I like to do is just gently kind of drag my pine needle through there and look at how it picks up those dots, kind of makes it look like rain coming down on my tree. So that's how we're going to finish these and maybe even Mrs. Williams will come around with a spray bottle because it's kind of fun just to give your picture a little squirt of water and then the water kind of bubbles out and it makes the paint kind of run and even look more like water. All right, have fun with that artists.